Welcome to Words of Aloha with Pastor Izzy Manzo of Amazing Grace Ministries International. We're headquartered in Kailua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Join us now as we get into God's Word. Now he put this, this exhortation sandwiched between of first importance Christ died for our sins, he was buried, he rose, and now he's going to lead to, since he is the first of the resurrection, we get to follow him in the resurrection. And now he's going to talk to the church about a hope that, guys, this is, this is what I call an in-house study. This is for you believers. One of the greatest messages for the Christians is this message, what Paul says in the last part of this chapter. Let, let, let's go to this. Verse 35, Paul says, But some of you will say, How are the dead raised? What kind of body do they have? You fool, he says, That which you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And that which you sow, you don't sow the body which will be, but you sow a bare grain perhaps of weed or something else. But God gives it a body just as he wished, and to each of the seeds a body of its own. You know, you have a seed of corn or a seed of wheat. How many have seen, you know, wheat seed, the actual kernel of wheat? Is that seed that is sown in the ground, pl sown means planted, by the way. I, I didn't, that's a new Christian, sowing meant like with a needle, S-E-W. This is S-O-W. That means to plant to plant the seed in the ground. When you plant the seed in the ground, a seed of wheat, kernel of wheat or kernel of corn, what you plant, is that what you get out? From the, does, does the seed that you put in the ground look like the plant that comes out? No. In fact, if, you, if you're like me, you're fascinated with that time-lapse photography on the Learning Channel, you know, they put the little seed against the glass and, and then you see it, it kind of looks like it's jiggling. And then, and then it splits open, and then the little white thing comes out and starts pushing towards the surface, and then the roots go down. And I submit to you, next time you see one of those, watch carefully what happens to the actual kernel of wheat or corn. Look at the actual seed. See how long you can see the seed itself. Because most of the seeds, as the plant begins to sprout, the seed gets, the inner part gets absorbed into the plant as nutrients to, the, to its growth. And the hull just falls away. It's gone. It just like disappears in the, you watch the little time lapse, it'll disappear. Or it'll just be like a little shrivel up thing over here, like empty hull. It's gone. The actual seed that got planted is no longer there because that which was sown, it says, has to die in order that what it's meant to be, that new plant, that life, can live. And unless it dies, and by the way, this is true of all believers. Jesus said it. He said it in Matthew 8. He said, you know, if a man isn't willing to lose his life for my sake, he can't gain it. But he who lays down his life, what will happen? He'll receive it. He'll, he'll, it you'll, get it you'll get it back. when you, you have to give it up. It's a weird thing. But think of it in this way. This life is not the goal. Hanging on to this identity and this body, we do so much work to try to take care of these shells, don't we? And we try to gussy them up and they keep wrinkling and stuff keeps going wrong and we keep trying to fix it. And, you know, it just, let me, I'm just here to tell you the shell is gonna, it's gonna fall away. What's important is what's going to come out of it, this newness of life, and the new body that you're going to get that will accompany that new life. Don't think, this body cannot inherit flesh. This flesh and blood, it says, cannot inherit everlasting life. It doesn't work that way. This has to be laid aside. My spirit has to, well, we're going to see in just a minute. It has to be swallowed up by life. Okay, this corruption, this mortal has to be swallowed up by incorruption, by immortality. Paul says, look, you fool, <laughs> whatever you sow, you, you, it doesn't, you don't see a bunch of little wheat seeds coming out of the ground. It makes a plant. And then the plant puts out the pod. And then you, then you have the, 
the head of the wheat kernels. And you don't just get one head from the plant. You can have multiple heads. And each head can have hundreds of seeds on each, on each head of wheat. You could be so fruitful if you're willing to die. But if you're not, what if a seed says, I'm not willing to lose my identity as a seed. I want to stay a kernel of wheat forever. I want everyone to see me as the way I am. I'm going to preserve my identity. In fact, I'm just going to sit on the shelf. Don't put me in the ground. Put me on display. And give me a little glass case. You say, okay. You sit there by yourself. You're, you're, you're preserved as your identity of the old thing that it's really meant to be planted, to bring life, but you're like, I'm not willing to die. I'm going to keep my identity. That seed's going to have a lonely existence. And like it or not, that seed isn't actually going to last forever, is it? It's going to shrivel up slowly and die, but because it's not put into the earth and it's not get the moisture from the rain and, 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 the, and the nutrients from the soil, it's not going to come back to life in a fruitful life. It's going to stay itself. And that's how some believers are. I'm not willing to die for Jesus. I want to be in the club, but don't put me in the ground. Sorry. You fool, he says. God has something for you even greater. Verse 38, he says, God gives it a body just as he wished, and to each seed he gives a body of its own. All flesh, he says, is not the same flesh. There's the flesh of men. There's the flesh of beasts. There's the flesh of birds. There's the flesh of fish. There are also heavenly bodies. Or if you have a King James, celestial bodies. And there are earthly bodies, terrestrial bodies. But the glory of the heavenly is one, and the glory of the earthly is another. The glory, just as there is glory of the sun, and another the glory of the moon. Another the glory of the stars. And even, he says, the stars, for they differ in their glory from star to star. You know, different ones have different glory in their colors, in the shininess, in their brightness, in the size. He says they all differ. So verse 42 says, So also in the resurrection from the dead, it is sown in a perishable seed or body, but it is raised in an imperishable. We have King James, sown in corruption, raised in what? In corruption. It's sown in dishonor, raised in glory, sown in weakness, but raised in power. It is sown in a natural body. And here's the best part. It is raised in a what? A spiritual body. And if there is a natural body, Paul says, then there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam, Jesus, became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, then the spiritual. The first man is from the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from the heaven. And as is the earthly, so also are the earthy. As is the heavenly, so also are those who are heavenly. And just as we have borne the image of the earthy, he says, we will also bear the image of the heavenly. Mahalo for joining us. If you'd like more information about us, go to our website, AmazingGraceKona.com, and click the link to follow us on Facebook. That's AmazingGraceKona.com. Mahalo, and God bless.